Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Play artist, right on dynamite. <laughs> Playing artist, right on dynamite. It's a- MP3 music search, only on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. Sync, say the word. So as many of you who listen to the show know, I am a huge Omni Group fan. Uh, I use most of their products, uh, my favorite being Omni Graffle up until maybe today. Um, and, uh, and the great thing about uh, the Omni Group is that what you're going to get is something that's truly a Mac experience. I mean, this is not something that kind of works on a PC and kind of works on a Mac. I mean, it's really using up many, many features that, that, that it just makes it very Mac-like. And, and it's always easy to draw, easy to put stuff together. It's easy to think while you're working. And that's exactly what their new product, OmniGraph, well, this is OmniGraph Sketcher, is uh, designed to do. It's to make graphing easy. So, so come over here and let me, let me show you how this works. So. What we have here is this little graph. Now, sometimes you have data and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just want to show a graph. Now, you could be drawing it. And, and a lot of times when we want to build a graph, we, we have to start thinking about what, what points, what, you know, I'm gonna, I got to fill up some kind of table and then that's going to show up as a graph. And then I got to change these things and it's going to show up as another graph. And all I want is just to show kind of something going up. Well, that's what this allows you to do. So I can simply, um, now I, I can hold down the D key or I can just simply click on draw here. And you can just see me just kind of clicking and I just double click there, so let me un- undo that. So the uh, so I can simply click like this, and I can create my little graph like that. So now I can change the interpolation if I want, so I th- they can make it a soft one. I can look at the trend uh, that, that's there. I can show only the points. But the key is, is that I'm not, I, I don't have to sit there and try to input points. I just kind of built the graph the way I wanted it to look, and, uh, and I can just get it out there. Now, uh, Sometimes you actually have to use real data and actually, you know, in a graph, you have to actually have some kind of backup for it, and you can do that as well. So check this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, emission data numbers here, and I'm going to select all and copy, and uh, and then what I'm going to do is go back to OmniGraph Sketcher. I'm going to create a new file here, and I'm going to go in here and I am going to say paste as line. And there is all of that data. So everything that was sitting in numbers immediately pasted in. Now I can continue to play with it. So, so what I can do here is, of course, I can uh, turn off those b- dots if I want to. Once again, change the interpolation if I want. Look at the trend lines that I have there. All of this stuff is something that I can very, very quickly edit. Look at this. If I want to change, for instance, I want to scale you know, the, uh, the piece here. And I still had it in draw mode there. Um, but I can go into modify here. And I can simply scale this over here like this. I can grab it, and it's just never been so easy to ch- kind of change all the pieces. Simply drag and drop, and simply make it all work. Now, the other thing is, is you might want to put this into something like OmniGraffle. So, uh, what you can do here is, I have an OmniGraffle that's here, and I can simply go in here and say, "Copy as image." So, when I copy that as an image, and I go into he- into OmniGraffle, uh, what I can do is simply paste. So, I'm just going to paste that in, and there it is. So now. So now I have this, uh, this graph here. If I go back here and start doing some editing, so for instance, I select this. I'm going to change the thickness a little bit of this one. I might change the color. So I'm, I, I can continue to work on it here. Um, and if I just hit Save, it immediately updates over an OmniGraffle. So that connection is live going back and forth uh, between OmniGraffle and OmniGraph Sketcher. And so it's just really a great little application to allow you to make sure that you, you can throw stuff up, you can be artistic, and you can show these graphs without having to deal with all the morass that you typically have to go through to just make a simple little graph that, that, that will illustrate what you want. Again, just the, what OmniGroup does, they make things that showing your idea easy and fluid.